2016. Welcome to pregame show. It's brought to you throughout the year by Graham Health System. Shop the Graham Thrift Shop at 175 South Bay. And can't all proceeds remain And it opens up tonight against Delvin. And welcome Bob Wagner, Leon Kruger again. Rejoining you here. So now we saw Jim tonight, Megan. Our engineer, along with M. Bixler, video projection. The Kentonville Giants, Jay Murphy, begins his first season. Uh, tough wins over the last couple of years. Five wins last year, four wins in between. Then a dozen back in 2013. Lost a pretty good shot blocker, Zach Brecker. He lose Bradley Hensler, uh, Peyton Mulligan, and Chase Chago. Uh, some of the nucleus for the little giant team. New faces, but again, you do have a pretty good nucleus. We understand that Garrett Brandt will come in as a key sharpshooter. KO, Kayla Bowens, to the perimeter people. And new to the program, Cooper Smith. We hear nothing but glaring things about this young junior who left after the sixth grade and has moved back here. That's a big plus for this uh, Jay Murphy ball club this year, Bobby. And, you know, I got to watch him with their first practice they had. And, you know, of course, the roster is short. You know, given the success of the football team, I'll tell you what, even in between drills, you know, what else does Cooper Smith and young man do is find a basket and shoot. He's got that mentality that the more shots he takes, the more he's going to make throughout the season. I commend that. I applaud that. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of that. We'll see Preston Taylor, Evan Otto. We have Lucas Ketchum, of course. We'll start tonight. Luke Randall. I think Luke Randall could be a key kind of a player. We saw him kind of really uh, rise up towards the tail end of that game uh, last year as well, as the, uh, towards the end of the season. And he was a big contributor. Those are the pieces, again, from football transitioning into this uh, game of basketball here tonight. Yeah, I agree. I think with the experience that our younger group got last year, starting out in this tournament going all the way, for playing time in regionals has nothing but paying off dividends as far as this season. The more experience you get, the younger you are, the more benefits you're going to see throughout a rigorous season. Delvin on the flip side, again, they have a great nucleus returning for 16th year head coach Ryan Kramer. All he's done is produce 288 wins as a head coach, 820 win seasons. They compete out of the Tomahawk at inter County Athletic Conference. And a year ago, they were 17 and 12. But again, they lost to Peoria Quest. They had to go head to head against Peoria Quest, who had a great season last year. They returned Noah Jekyll, Justin C., and again, a 6 Joey Matthews. So they have, again, the best perimeter shooting team in this tournament. They have a 6 6 player, but they have a great mentality with Ryan Kramer. Go to the basket, shoot the basket, score, score. And this year, they want to turn the corner and play a little bit of better defense tonight. Yeah, if you watch them in years past, they're not afraid to shoot from the outside. It doesn't matter who takes the shot. As long as it's an open look, the coach has never had a problem with it. They're going to try and be a little more inside base this season. Try and create the outside jump shot by scoring on the interior. Will it be successful? The rest of the season running. They remind me of uh, the former Midwest Central teams. They were very interchangeable. You know, Illini, they, Illini Central. Illini Central, those yeah. type of things. They had the interchangeable kind of players who could shoot. They could take it off the dribble, but they could interchange. A one could play a three. A two could play a one. You know, vice versa, those type of things. Those are deadly kind of position type of players, especially if you're a defender. But you know, how do you get, if you get caught in a mismatch, they are able to do that with a lot of the interchange that they do their offense. And we're going to have to learn to react to that. Those guys interchangeable parts offensively, they have to be interchangeable defensively to have success. We'll have more on our pregame show. Bob Wagner will be on Groover set to bring in the call the beginning of Reuter Giant Boys Basketball here tonight as we continue our pregame show. It's brought to you by the Graham Health System. Shop the Graham Thrift Shop in 175 South Main. All proceeds remain local. Back here in 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton. High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. 
Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. IDC 30, Bob, there before we get to the starters here tonight, give me a quick key to the game tonight for this uh, little giant basketball team. Don't turn the ball over. The few possessions you give your opponent, the better chances you are winning the game. And for me, it's about showing the ability to score on the inside. You get those high percentage baskets, opens things up later on down the road with the outside open looks. That is our pregame show right before the tip-off tonight. It's brought to you by the Grand Health System. Shop the Grand Thrift Shop at 175 South Main. All proceeds remain local. We've got an exciting start to the Little Giant basketball season. As Little Giants 5-22 and 22 a year ago. But a lot of, again, enthusiasm is carried over from the uh, big 10-3 and three football season. Made it to the Final Four. And the Little Giants, again, basketball begins tonight. We'll have the uh, tip off the starting lineups. Here from Allison, we saw Jim back in two minutes. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton by the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington, by WBYS AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County, by Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton, Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Okay, so we drowned the fire. Yep. Stirred it. Mm -hmm. Drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Next Friday night, 6 o'clock, Delaware will take on East Peoria, then Friday night at 7.30, Canton IBC. Saturday evening, the early start times at 5, IBC Delaware, 6.30, Canton East Peoria. That'll be covered right here on WBYS. Streamed online, 1560, WBYS.com. Delvin Panthers, again, they're decked out in the purple and white. They're going to line up look like this. It'll be uh, Tolan Johnson. That's Tolan Johnson will get the start. Also for uh, Delvin, and they will go with the lineup like this. Tyler Perry, he is a 6'2 senior. Also a start tonight. And it'll be Charlie Hodges, who played off the bench last year as a freshman. He scored six points a game last year. Also getting a start tonight, Noah Jekyll is a senior. And here's the last one, number 40, Joy Matthews, who we mentioned there's six player there. Again, six and a junior is Joy Matthews. Again, Tolan Johnson, Perry, Charlie Hodges, Noah Jekyll, and Joy Matthews, Ryan Kramer in his 16th year. Folks are on the feet here as Jay Murphy and this Kent Little Johnson winner this in his fourth season. That should be B.J. McCollum, former junior college outstanding coach and also former junior high coach. Ago. Also, it'll be Kenny Brent and Cody Myers assisting Jay Murphy. 
Marquette Little Giants uh, then started last year 2-0 and lost six in a row. They'll start tonight with Gary Brandt, 6'2", sophomore. He'll get to start tonight for Coach Jay Murphy. Also to start tonight will be Cooper Smith, 6'3", junior. And he moved back into town after his sixth grade and again moved back into town right before the season started. Also tonight, Kago, Caleb Owens, a 5'9", sophomore. We will start and the two bigs tonight inside 6'5", and a junior, Clay Schrader. I'd like to see really him blossom. Really come out and play well tonight. And 6'7", senior, Lucas Ketchum, great offensive, defensive lineman for the Kent Little Giant football team. And Jay Murphy in his uh, fourth season matched up against Ryan Kramer and the Dalton Panthers at Alice Singer South Gym. And that's your starting lineup. So brought to you Advanced Rehab Sports Medicine in Canton. Call 649-1572 for a free injury screen. They fix sports injuries. Nothing better than the vibration. Here from Alice Singer South Gym, we begin our 16th year. Bob and I calling my 32nd as a voice of the Little Giants, man. Goose bumps and I'm ready to roll here for my own playground when I was a young man. What's that you feeling, Leon? Out front, the little chance will handle it, and against KO. That's it, he drives along the baseline, and that's a quick basket there <laughs> by the power move by Cooper Smith. Well, he saw this operation, Leon, nobody guarded him. He had plenty of real estate to go straight to the basket for the layup. What did uh, Coach Mike Emery tell us after he moved out of the sixth grade? He was the second player best behind Isaiah Bowers, who moved away, who was playing at the Lincoln. That's and Colin Dietz, who's now at Washington. Also Peyton Havens, Mosa and Nicholas, a couple of those at Washington. And again, a three-point play there by Cooper Smith, a little chance. Again, out in front, three to nothing. Delvin will swing it. Long range three to open things up in a squish by Charlie Hodges. <laughs> you cannot let them have open doors. No, you may shoot from anywhere. Any kind of separation. 3-3 three, three is our tie. 7-24. Cooper Smith down the lane. Man, I'll tell you what. Spins the shot and put back up in the lane. Good. By catch. Got a boy. Lucas catching. Okay, when you got a splash and a guy can score, you're going to have some points with Schrader. That's over the back. That's over the back. Good call there, Bobby. Turn over by Delvin. Good pressure in the near side here with the quickness and some length. We got those key matchups there. And I think the length will really be the key, Leon. Yep, we got Garrett Brandt and also Ketchum at that time. Schrader goes to the high post, Ketchum low block area. Top of the key, KO. Handle at the point, bounce to the high screen, almost threw the ball away. Cooper Smith, between the circle, catch. Along the baseline, turns, faces up to the basket. Nice pass, Ketchum, turns, shoots it up. Whoa, and then out, no good. That's a good look in the early yes, going. I have no problem with that shot. Lucas Ketchum. Here comes Dillman on the run. Good hustle play back there. Okay, one thing is Cooper Smith is the electric kind of player, man. Both him. ends of the floor. He is running the floor. Got some wingspan, too. Yes, he does. 6'3", junior. 5-3. to three. Oh. Cooper. <laughs> That's a little juke step there, man. Yeah. Cooper passes it up to the near side here. 5-3. Little Giants on top, 627. Off the baseline, Clay Schrader. Garrett Brandt, who can pull the trigger. KO. Needs to be more aggressive. Schrader, nice move on the baseline. They got a foul. Push. That's a nice little cut in the lane there. With most offense in that perimeter. And the best part is away from the third corner around the defender and feed him through the basket. That way he's in stride. But again, Joey Matthews is a foul. It's his first. Team second. Free throw is good by Clay Schrader. Schrader gets his first point of the night. And again, the little Jack Strucker gone. He led the team in squats, block shots, all those things. Not necessarily going to be part of the season, but it could be a little bit of that, to, you know, with Ketchum and Schrader. Yeah, Zach and Kevin some real estate yeah. with that length. 7 to 3, little Giants. A steal by Cooper Smith. And he is off to the racehorse. Off the left side, in the lane, jukes it up, banks it up, no good. Drew some contact, but no foul. Down the lane, and he bats it away. This kid's got some quicks. Deflections, deflections, deflections. <laughs> you, yeah, he's well, got that, you just got that natural length of the answer, your offensive and defensive player. Awfully instinctive. 7 3, 550 mark here. Out front, Matthews, turn the circle. 
Get it close on the grouping there. Offensively, on the baseline. They'll kick it to the elbow of the right side. Matthew shot goes in and out no good. Schrager with the rebound. Cooper Smith, quick hard pass along the baseline. Garrett Brent, pull up jumper to the elbow right side. Shot was no good, and over the back. That's going to be a foul against Ketchum. He got caught in man, uh, kind of a bad position here because I thought he's you know had better rebounding position there. Shot was missed. Looking on the right side there. Ball came off. He reached over the top. Got caught for a foul. So seven three. Canton with the advantage. Hack is one two two plus. Yeah. Uh, score disrupting them offensively. Have to get into the half court to the opposite side before his Jekyll off his dribble, slice through the defense, turnover. That is four, put there by Cooper Smith. Down the lane, off the glass and in. A steal, and then he led the charge off the glass and in, nine to three. Surprisingly, they backed off him defensively too, which gave him the open look. Five points in this game by Cooper Smith, the junior for the Little Giants. Back out top of the key, that's Hodges. His brother Sam graduated. Down the lane of spin, runs into the tree. He's trying to scoop it, partially blocked there. Good job there by Schrader. Here comes Cooper Smith. Out for three to this near side, shot no good. That will go down eventually. Delvin comes out of the pack with it, ball uh, knocked away. Off to this near side, Brent plays the D. They'll swing it. They pull the trigger to the right side, no good by Johnson. And it goes out of bounds. Stays with Delvin. Nine to three. Five, Canton advantage. Substitution. Yeah. Right on. Here comes uh, Justin C. He was Three a starter a year ago. Also in the lower side lineup, Luke Randall. First time out of this game, 427. And uh, Canton took the timeout. No, no, no. Okay. Nine to three. I didn't see where you were pointing there. Nine to three. Canton with the lead and a timeout by Delavan. 427 the first quarter. Back in 30 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. 9-3, ball inbounded, far side the floor. Quick touch there by C, back out front. Hodges, Charlie looks over the defense. Free throw line jumper, and in and out, no good. Good look by C, wouldn't go. Here's Cooper Smith in transition, down the floor. That could be a blocking foul against Delavan. You don't have position, you get called no. for the foul. He was still moving. And Hodges called for the blocking foul. Oh, again, Jekyll, excuse me there. Jekyll, his foul. And Kettle inbound. It's Cooper Smith, near side. That's Brent, along the baseline and a hold. They're going to have a tough time defending and, him. And with Cooper's early scoring ability, you can see them trying to yeah. overreact the amount of the basketball. Now they're getting called for some fouls. Jekyll commits back-to-back -back fouls, trying to defend Cooper Smith. Substitution now, Brady Vanaken, six-foot sophomore. He checks in for Delavan with 4.09. Inbounding out front, Garrett Brandt. One to pull the trigger, free sign. Got a step inside there, back out front. Evan Otto in the lineup. Luke Randall, he's cut off baseline. Bounce pass between the circle. Gary uh, Brandt, that's uh, over and back. Turned by the Little Giants. Little confusion. And again, that perimeter pushed him out a little bit further than he wanted to. Well, my thing is, you pick up your dribble over the most inopportune spot. You have nowhere to go with the basketball with the defender right up on you. 3.55, opening period here. Canton out to a 9-3 lead. Quick hard pass on the back screen underneath there. Then they can almost through the right. Top of the key, Hodges dribbles in, gets it to C. C to the near side, Van Aken, and it's a three ball. Brady Van Aken. So they've had a pair of threes, nine to six. Canton maintains the lead. Cooper Smith out front of this near side. Preston Taylor in the lineup. Auto drives, he's cut off. Back out front, sets up Cooper Smith. He gave up the shot there. Preston Taylor for three, in and out, no good. Good look to the opposite side. Otto tried to fight for it. Who gets it? It's Hodges. 3.15 clock runs, 9-6. Quick ball, zip out of bounds. The far sideline, turnover by Delavan. That's five. That's five. 
Again, here from the action. And Schrader in for Lucas catching win. We got the Preston will handle at the point. Cooper Smith still in the lineup. Schrader, Otto, and Randall. That's the five. We're at the three minute mark. Nine to six. Lob it underneath. Over three. Intended for Otto. Maybe if you're giving it Otto to him, you threw it that high, but not that, vice yeah. versa. You know, maybe the bounce pass towards the basket. So a couple of turnovers. And it's 257 here. Quick pass into the hands of SP. Didn't touch it very long. Then underneath shot missed there by Perry. Missed opportunity by Delvin. Cooper Smith starts, stops behind the back there. Keeps the dribble going. Off to his left side. 242. Again, Robert Cooper Smith out in the arc. One to head stop. Now he uses every tool in his repertoire. Shot no good by Luke Randall underneath. Fight for it. Schrader had an opportunity to put it back. Loose ball underneath there. Otto swatted away. No foul call. Delaware gets the basketball. They're fighting underneath. Offensive boards there. Nine can't advantage. Delvin. Out front Hodges. Gotta watch Steeler Hodges or pull the trigger. No, it's Van Aken. And he got fouled. Foul. Randall backed him out. So again, Randall with the foul. Commits the foul. That's kind of the scenario from last year. He had silly fouls. Those back it out there. Remember they had a bunch of those in the early going. I know you like to play offense, but defense is just as much a big part of the game. Yep. They get Van Aiken. Well, shoot three free throws. And again, the first one is good, his fourth point of the night. Fouls is inexcusable. Yep. Right? Just got to be a smarter, if you want to be a better team, those things you got to, you know, take it out of the equation. Play defense. Yep. Second free throw. And now a shot blocker. And now he gets Luke on the bench. Play. Again, Luke will have a seat. And back in the lineup for the Little Giants is the big guy, Lucas Ketchum. Next one from Van Aken, and he makes him pay for all three free throws. And we're a 9-9 tie. First tie of the game, Kent led 9-3. 2 or 4 off the baseline. Nice little move by Otto. There it's Schrader, kicks it out. Preston Taylor drives. Floats the shot, made the contact, and a foul against Perry. I like the aggressiveness there. Yep. Yep. Take it to the rim. They reverse to the opposite side of the floor. Try to attack there from the short corner. That's his first, and five team fouls against the Delaware. And here from Alice Ingersoll, Jim. Free throw is no good by Preston Taylor. It's going to be tough for a lot of these guys who played football to come in. They only had a couple of practices this week. Yeah, you don't get in basketball shape overnight. And your legs are going to be hurting for a few days. And again, second free throw is no good. Preston's a much better particular thing, but what a year he had defensively this yes. year. I think he was one of the better ones we had in the secondary. He and Otto really yeah. complimented one another. Van Aken missed the three. Weak side rebound tracked down by Perry. Nolan keeps it alive. Kicks it out to this near side. Matthews down to Van Aken. Quickly shuffle underneath. Dribble Perry kicks it out to the far side. Quick movement shot no good. Underneath that's Perry and a rebound. We'll see here. It's going to be a foul underneath. He's pointing either Ketchum or Otto. I didn't say exactly who he was. And we're going to get up to the basketball and start yeah. watching it come off the room. Yeah, we did a couple of times. Preston Taylor's first. And third team foul against the Little Giants. Panthers will inbound. Back out front. That's a violation. Yep. Turnover on the inbounds. It's turnover number six. So the Panthers forced for the turnover. They are the defending tournament champs. They were 3-0 a year ago. And finish on a 17-win season. Got knocked out by Peoria Quest. They had a terrific season last year. 9-9 is a tie. Out front, that's Brent. Schrader covered up. Puts the ball on the floor. Down to Brent. Otto swings it underneath. Catch him. Nice move underneath. Out of the way, Lucas. Nice move. Way to find him is Otto. 11-9 breaks the tie. 1-5. We got Cooper Smith getting a pretty good little stretch of break here as well. Back out front, Van Aken. Just this side, Matthews. They got everybody to shoot the threes. That's one thing you got to be worried about. I told you about they got it just interchangeable. But you've never been that time. Yeah. So three threes, and they're up 12 11 here. 44 seconds, Preston, and a reach and a foul against Van Aken. 
That's his first. I like what we're doing offensively. We're real awful lazy defensively. Yeah. 12 11. You've got to step out on your shooters. That's for a guy like BJ McCollum on the sideline. His toughness out there hopefully will make a difference in the long haul after he gets another system a little bit. Uh, the practice I saw BJ was teaching defense. Yeah. Coach Murphy was doing offense. Yep. So. 42 seconds inbound out front. Brant down by one. They play the offense left to right and then threw it away. Why do you pick up your dribble there? Yep. There's no reason to do that. Again, you nod your head. You've got to have some kind of a signal in there that you're going to break out. To me, you need to break out. But now with 34 seconds left here in the opening quarter. That's a turnover because of inexperience. Yep. Now across the timeline is he. Quick pass on the right side to Hodges. He launches an unlimited shot out there. Hodges. He's got two threes. Four they're, threes. They're going to shoot. There they are. They'll pull you out. And if you don't come out and guard them, they're going to shoot. 15-11. 11 seconds. Off the dribble, Cooper Smith off the elbow. Seven. Pass the new side. Brant rated in the lane. Cut off. Between the circle, Preston Taylor with two. Goes out of bounds. That's the way the quarter comes to an end. Delavan advantage. Panthers 15. Little Giants 11. Second quarter. Where we return to Alice Oversaw Jim in 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton. High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. And uh, Dolan, a late run there, 15-11, a couple of late trays, three for three free throws. That didn't hurt either, that broke the tie. One tie, Canton led at one time, nine to three. Dolan possession, they begin the second quarter. The attack of the perimeter, Hodges, Perry, quick snag there by Van Aken. Back out front, they're a quick passing team and they will use Get reversals, they'll do a little anything to find and get any kind of space for distance between the defender who won't close out on the shooter. And find some movement with or without the basketball. And I would say that's one of the deficiencies, is getting to shooters and closing out. We've got to do a much better job of that here. I agree. This season. Back out front, Matthews, they catch out on the circle, C. They'll keep working the ball. Hodges. On the exchange, the man-to-man -man by the Little Giants of this stretch here. On the perimeter here. That's a quick little reach there. No ticky tacky foul there. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, a lot more contact than that, not called. Brant with a foul. And a 14 foul. Fouls on Randall, Ketchum, Taylor, and Brant. The little chance down the lane. Wise through the defense. Leaves Matthews open the far side. And the Junior just knocked down a three. And where's our six and senior Lucas catching yeah. out? Yeah, not out there. 17 to 11. Not out there guarding anyhow. Down the lane, Gary Brett, a uh, head fake, lost a handle on it, turned over by Canton. That's four. Little Giants turned it over. They had a six point lead, biggest of the night. Long three to the right side, no good by Hodges. Now the pack, and Matthews keeps it. You can look for that stuff. You know, Jay's, I know, he's getting frustrated on the sideline there because they're getting, not getting the loose balls, not blocking out, not getting out to the shooters. I think Gary Rand's going to be hitting the bench on this one. That's going to be the second on Gary. Team five. Otto will check in. Otto, Randall, catch him. And we'll see us. We have Cooper Smith and KO. Owens defending the near side. Double team and a good job there. See how they switch. The communications is pretty good that time. Forced to turn over. It's number seven for Delaware. Got to do more of that in the half court. That was a good defensive stop there. 
Now it's walking up to the front court. Caleb Owens, Cooper Smith, scored the first five points. He's been pretty silent since that time, and a quick foul. The far side against Delwin could be against Van Naken. It would be his second. It's his second. And again, be the bonus time for the Little Giants. How you going to make him in the So Cooper Smith, Little Giants were three of five in that first quarter. Free throw, rolled it in, got a nice soft touch there. Shooter's touch. Sure he does. He's just got that length and look about him as really pretty good basketball player. Yeah, wingspans. And it looks like his knowledge of the game is pretty good. He's got a lot of the different pieces there. Next free throw, and it draws the Little Giants back to within four. So a pair of free throws by the junior. That's seven on the night by Cooper Smith. Little Giants trail 17-13. Trying to get it back here defensively, and then they throw the ball away. Good pressure defense here. He has no shot by Evan Iowa denying that pass. You look the upper part of, uh, again, Otto and Preston, too, and they're out there. You see the upper body of them? A lot of muscle. 17-13. Football ball. Yep, it is. Off to this near side. With the possession, Justin C. Try to back his way in. A nice job by Evan Otto. Makes the turnover. That's number eight. Again, it'll be Canton basketball. KO. Low block, and now it goes Schroeder. Cooper Smith, nice little screen set there. Cooper down the lane, kicks it up. Ellen Otto shoots for three. A little bit too strong. Cooper Smith gets away from over the back, and then a push and a foul against Canton. Got away with it. Got on Randall. Yep, it's Ellen Otto. Commits the foul. And sixth as a team. 5.30 before half. And our next one for him, Bernie C. 17-13, Dolan has taken the lead. Canton was tied 9-9. They broke that tie with a big three. Off to this near side, Matthews. Again, you got to look at their size and ability. Any time out on the floor, they, when they switch positions, they can shoot threes. Any part of the floor. That's what they look to do is shoot the outside shot first. A lot of spacing. Really good spacing for them. Plenty of that between Cooper Smith and the offensive player, Justin C. 453. Start to dribble, little head fake. Pass to this side, skip pass to the far side. It's Tolan Johnson with the three. So they kind of lured you into that. They overload on one side and the big skip pass. They knock down the tray. 2013. It's just good fundamental basketball. Shot was missed by Little Giants. 430 mark, second period. Delvin picked up his dribble. It's Tolan Johnson. Back out front. Tyler Perry turns, spins, knocked away, fights for it, and he last touched it. He did off the leg, emphatically made by the official there. I if there's one thing Delvin's done the first has turned the ball over. And again, here at the 417 mark, the Giants take a 30 second timeout. Delvin with the lead by seven. Panthers 20, Little Giants 13, back in 30 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Down by seven after they led nine to three and they were deadlocked at nine apiece. That's the only tie of this game. Second period halfway through here. Cooper Smith going to find a way to get him back in the offensive well, mix. Somebody else has to show they can score. Yep, you got it. One of the two there. Back up front, there pressure there, and Otto threw it away. Again, we talked about the emphasis this year, Bob, by Delvin playing better half-court defense, and that was a pretty good sign there, the indication there, well, frustration. We're making his pick up our dribble in all the wrong places. We don't know what to do with the basketball. Inbounds. He will come to Perry. Crosses the timeline. He will go to Perry. That's a good call. Fisher was right by that, and again, that's really been their only flaw in this game. Their turnovers have been pretty consistent. They've turned away over 10 times. We just can't yeah. get points off of that. Then they have shot in this game 
threes. 20 to 13 here, 350. Give and go, Cooper Smith out on the arc here, picked up defensively. Back to Schrader for a long three. Short on it, who gets it, Luke Randall. Underneath, the head fake there, and up, and it didn't go. Ball tapped out, who gets it, Purple. Fights for it, there's a pile up, and a little scrum. Everybody fighting for it. Evan's still thinking it's football time out there. All right. <laughs> and fighting for it. And it's a hell ball space with this opposite end here. 3.33 before halftime. Can't possession will be Cooper Smith will inbound. Coach Jay Murphy will shout out the play. Inbound to Otto. Trying to get it to oh. Cooper Smith. That other guy just shoved him out of the way. You see Steve grabbed him by the jersey and tossed him. Again, top of the key, Otto dribbles down the lane, little half, left shot, off the glass. Nice move there by Evan. Evan gets, Evan gets his legs underneath him. He's going to be a key contributor. Down by five here. I agree. Three ten. Bob and I first met Evan. He was about fifth or sixth grade. Underneath it. Yeah. It's even run. Basketball is good by Tyler Perry. Isolated him, got it down low. 22-15. Yeah, nobody there to play him defensively. Yep. 22-15. Her passing has not been pretty this quarter. Uh, ball goes out of bounds. Canton keeps it. 2.52 before half. Inbounds will come to the hands of uh, Caleb Owens. Caleb looking. Luke Randall covered up there. Now they get it to Schrader. Cooper Smith under the arc here. Tries to step back in the lane here. Ball knocked away. Off the glass, no good. Underneath, put the ball in the floor. Schrader powered it back up, no good. Randall with the follow-up. Nice job off the right side. Again, underneath, Luke Randall with the put back. He's got to step it up here. 22-17, almost stepped in the backcourt. Yeah, Middle, maintained the half -court. Travel, too. Off to this near side. Tolan Johnson, the three, no good. Weak side rebound is Randall. Little Giants down by five, trying to cut into it. Caleb Owens, Otto, along the baseline. Head fake third ball slapped out of his hands goes Canton direction with 204 left. 22-17. When you see your teammate pick up the dribble, you've got to react to that and create an opening for him to throw it to you. Again, we've got a quick substitution. Nice late substitution. Yep. Justin Lombardo, a junior, and Matthews with six for Delavan. Two minute mark here. Canton trails by five. Trying to get some spurt going here. Down by five of the stretch. Almost a throw away. Otto retrieves it. Randall sets the screen. Nice job there. Otto, Cooper Smith, rolling the pull of trigger. Back out top of the free throw line. Kicks it up. And it's a three to the opposite side. No good by Keo. And Delvin gets it. Almost drug the pivot fit in the back court. Was Perry. I thought that was a route too. Minute 38. C for three. Justin C. Is C. Seven trays in his half. 25-17. You know it's coming, you can prepare for it, but you gotta be out there to physically close it out. Cooper Smith, top of the key, down the lane. Randall, his shot was short, ball tapped up. Again, Schrader with a putback with two hands. Physically, we're trying to match up inside with him, doing a pretty good job. 25-19, but we can't stop him defensively. Well, you never going to get up when the opponent's making threes, no. you're making two-point baskets. 25-19, coming up on 50-second mark here. Down the lane, off balance, but again, Hodges ended up with a field goal. That's his eighth point. You see, it's the opening lane with nobody there defensively who creates that shot. That's only your second field goal. Everything else has been a couple of free throws and threes. 27-19, 37-second mark. Kick it out, Otto. Covered up defensively there by Hodges. Off the dribble. Yeah, the boy. You call the other one ticky tacky. You can call that one because he had his arm bar out there. We got a Hodges. Picked up his second. 31 seconds. Otto will shoot the free throws. Evan Otto. Opportunity here. Little Giants trailed by four at the quarter break. They've led nine to three in this game. Otto makes the free throw. Farmington coach Jeff Otto in attendance here tonight and his farmers are off to a 2-0 start. 
Again, the uh, free throw sinks it. Good by Evan. Four points in this game by Evan Otto. It's 27-21. 28 second mark here. Backcourt double team. That in trap. Now it's to see. They break it. Toland yeah. Johnson walked. Took the extra step there. That's where you got the turned angle there, buddy. Traveled. 15 seconds. Back out front. Again with 10. Off the dribble, the kick out. Steal. Luke Randall. Lead pass underneath. Schrader turns and he traveled. Well, he knew was coming. Unfortunate. We had a little breakaway. Had the two man game going, but turn it over with 3.5 seconds. 27 21. Again, Bellman will get the stub at the last second here. Noah Jekyll comes in for Dolan Johnson. Up by six, Dolan has the possession. They inbound to Hodges with two in the backcourt. Not even to get the shot off. Again, a couple runs in this game, but Dolan the advantage at the end of one half. It's Dolan 27, Kent 21 in the locker room here at halftime in game two. The opening night of this 42nd annual Thanksgiving tournament. Delavan 27, Camp 21. Back over our halftime show. It's brought to you by Monaco's Pizza. Home of the family. Please your perfect post-game stop. 135 North 5th Avenue in Canton. Back in two minutes. Helping bring you this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton. High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Okay, so we drowned the fire. Yep. Stirred it. Mm -hmm. Drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb, by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Jim and down by six as a Little Giants here at halftime. Brought to you by Monica's Pizza. Again, the Little Giants set up to the quick start there. And then have faltered since that time. You know, a little poor shooting. Got a few putbacks, but again, not too much. In fact, the lack of that really perimeter shooting, Bob. That's a movie going. That first five points for Cooper Smith. He had two free throws in that second quarter. And they uh, really has been kept in check during that time, and nobody else has been able to kind of fill that void since he got up to the quick start to offensively. Well, I think that's going to be the, the winning theme this year is, is Cooper Smith is going to look to score, but when they've got one of their top defenders guarding him, which they switched it up in the second quarter, somebody else has to fill that void to so they can score on a possession possession basis too. Nine to three, the early advantage. And then we saw the game tied at 9-9. That's when they retook the, they kind of regained the lead there. And again, ended up going on a 6-2 run. They went on two different runs. They went on one at the end of the quarter and one to start of the quarter. And we just never been able to answer those couple of runs that they had here. Six points remains that difference at this point here, Bobby. Well, I mean, you can't be a trade-off for it. We're shooting threes and we're shooting layups. At some point, you've got to either defend the shot for sure, making something on the outside. And so one of those gears, this stuff is going to remain the same. 
When you look at uh, Delavan's defense, it's much better than we've seen in the past. It is. Definitely. You know, tonight. They, and, uh, they switch it up a lot more than what they have in seasons past. Halftime here. It is uh, Delavan out in front, 27-21. We'll give you the first half stats, individual scoring. The return here from the Thanksgiving basketball tournament here on WBY. Streamed online, 1560 WBYS.com. Back in 90 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton. hy V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. We get you a first half stats as the Little Giants trail on the opener tonight of their season here in the Thanksgiving tournament in game one, uh, East Peoria, 48-38 of IVC. And the nightcap here and the halftime, it is uh, Delavan 27, Little Giants 21. Bobby has the first uh, half stats here, BW. Thanks, Leon. Let's start off with the Delavan Panthers. They are 9 of 18 in field goals. That's an even 50%. How about this? 7 of 12 in three-point shooting. Oh, yeah. 58.3%. 3 for 3 in free throws. That's 100%. 14 total rebounds. 4 offensive. 11 first half turnovers. For the Camp Little Giants, shooting. 7 of 24 in field goals. 29.2%. 0 for 5 in three-point shooting for the first half. 7 of 9 in free throws. 77.8%, 13 total rebounds, 8 offensive, 6 first half turnovers, points in the paint, Delvin with 2, Canton with 14. All right, so in the uh, first half scoring, and this with Delvin, 7 threes, they had 1 by Toen Johnson, 1 by Justin C., field goal by Tyler Perry, he was the oddball in that group, and they had a field goal. <laughs> Also scoring Charlie Hodges, a couple of threes, a field goal for eight. Uh, Brady Van Aken, uh, three free throws and a three for six. And uh, Joey Matthews, a pair of threes uh, for six points. And again, uh, the three free throws they made was, again, the block out, out on the arc here. That's the only free throws they shot. Delavan 27. Uh, Little Giants 21. And a field goal, two free throws by uh, Ellen Otto. Also, two field goals, three free throws by Cooper Smith. He scored five of those right out of the gate. He's got seven in the first half. Luke Randall with two. Clay Schrader, basket two free throws with four. And Lucas Ketchum with four points. Little Giants trail here at halftime, 27-21. Scheduled Friday night has Delaware East Peoria at 6. Canton IVC at 7.30. And then back here Saturday night, 5 and 6.30. IVC Delaware and then Canton East Peoria in Saturday night's nightcap. More coming up on the Monocles Halftime Show. Throughout the years, brought to you by your perfect post-game stop, 135 by 5th in Canton. Back here, second half, to see if we can rally, pick up our first win of the season back in two minutes. Helping bring you this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington, by WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton. hy V of Canton, your employee-owned store. And M. Bixler Video Productions.
Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Okay, so we drowned the fire. Yep. Stirred it. Mm -hmm. Drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oak Times Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb, by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. And have basketball, everybody returning from the concession and ready to go. Delwin back on the courts, little giant still in the huddle on the opposite side of the floor here. Good night for basketball opening of this Thanksgiving term at the 42nd annual. Delwin won this thing last year. They were 3-0, all tight games. So I think they beat Canton 28-26 last year, Bob, in that Saturday night game. Last second shot. Last dude. second shot, yep. Back here is the Little Giants play the D, trail by six, catch him, opens up on the perimeter, down underneath, nice defense there by Cooper Smith. He runs the floor, which traffic to go by, looks it, then takes it, little hand fake there, in the lane, Schrader should have shot it from right there. Right underneath the catch him, but he finds an angle. That's a tough angle. That's Roy Lucas, six points in this game, by catch him, back to within four. We need double pieces out of him every game. Let's play the D, let's dig in defensively, and then we'll finish it off offensively. 27-23 here, start of the third. Yeah, definitely the defense is more important right now than anything. And a three, no good this time by C. Fighting for it, Delvin Canton gets it. There's the numbers, and the ball knocked away. It is a KO, across the timeline. Looks to the opposite side, Schrader's open. Pulls the trigger, big man off the offside, no good. High rebound, Cooper Smith up and lost a handle on it, but it was knocked away from him. And a couple of free throws coming up from Cooper Smith. And that's again at Hodges. That's going to be his third. He's, he's a good defender, too. And he's been a nine factor because yes. of the fouls. And a free throw is no good by Cooper. You know, don't hang your hat because you see a little blinding star here, don't everything. We saw that a couple of years ago at Thunder Road. So everybody was expecting him to do everything out there. And what do you do? Stand and watch a little bit too much and expect him to always carry the load. That's not exactly how it happens. 27-24, back with them three. Dig in defensively here. Second trip down the fourth of Delvin. Cut out front. Back in the line at Matthews. Between the circle, that's Hodges. Back cut here, driving down the lane. And the basket is good by Steve. Great communications to back cut there. They flash the back man. Easy layup. 29-24. 6.35. We're into this third period. Off the right wing. That's Garrett uh, Brandt. Too strong. Ball tapped out. He gets it. Delvin. Jekyll. Rivers out front. Bounce pass to the corner. They won't hesitate. Pull the triggers. No good by Perry. Out of bounce. And a push. Like, Matthews. Yep, I believe he pushed KO. Follow me against Joey Matthews. This is the thing. Why would a 6 6 individual try and push out a row of someone who's 5 foot 9 for a rebound? 6 18. 29 24. KO will handle at the point. Right side will be Cooper Smith. He turns spins trying to get the ball. KO guarded here on the perimeter. Garrett Brant sets his feet, shoots a three, and it's in and out, no good. Can't get it to go down. Gotta keep shooting, though. Yep. That'll give us the balance we need on the offense. It'll make it easier for Cooper Smith to get some shots, catch him down low. If we can knock down 
maybe a wing shot here. And see what we need to do now is get the ball on the inside and try and get foul number three on Matthew. Yeah. We can get a more on our favor as far as interior size. Six minutes here of the third quarter. That's a Tolan Johnson. Gives it up to C. Back out front into the hands of Matthews. Exchange. Back on the wing. Off the top of the key. That's Jekyll. Gets the screen. He takes it down the lane. Block shot there. I tell you what. That's a whistle blowing for the foul. Yeah, it is. He anticipated the body coming together like that. And again, catch him. He is whistled for the foul. But again, the man hadn't even shot it. And already the official was getting ready to blow the whistle. The contact wasn't even made. I know. Yeah. So it's second on Ketchum. And free throw is good by Jekyll. Ketchum yeah. coming up with his first point of the night. These are a leading score from a year ago. Average about 14 a game. That's his first point of the night. That tells you anything about their interchangeable parts here from night to night. Second free throw, no good. Cooper Smith snags the rebound. 5.40, third period. Top of the key, start, stop down the lane. Nice little move by Cooper. Missed the shot, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Delvin. Now he just can't get that shot to go down that he had early. So he's got a final way to roll that ball in. Yep. You would know if he's taking the straw, you got to have some rebounding position in there. You got the size advantage there. 5.25. Tolan Johnson catches down the arc. And again to the near side here, Matthews. Looks over the defense. Matthews picked up there by Ketchum. Out above the arc. That's Justin C, the senior. Turns. Gives it to this near side. Tyler Perry in and out. No good on the three. Six point. Delaman lead. Here, high school from the arc. Otto takes it. Scoop shot with one hand. No good. Tolan Johnson snags the rebound. 4.54 o'clock runs. Third period. Delaman 30-24. Off to this near side, Matthews catches it. One to throw the skip pass. We read it pretty good. Get out to this near side. Off the dribble is Perry. Close, and they lost nice the job. handle on it. Turnover. Here come the little Giants. And now it's to, uh, uh, against Schrader, the near side. Underneath the catch him. Beat his man. Powered underneath a nice awareness by Cooper Smith. I'll tell you what. Where there he goes. Hip, he's going to score every time. It's all over. Ball deflected. Almost comes up with a turnover. Can't back within four. Made a good stop here. That's just it. We need to stop. 30 to 26. Free throw line jumper. Bank no good. We're starting to get them a little bit out of rhythm here. They not getting a, those threes. They seem a little tired too. Yeah, they do. Four minute mark here. Cooper Johnson. Tried to overload here. Teo. Catch him. And give it to him. And he's turned to the pivot there. Again, Teo looking over. Against the defense. Otto. Against Schrader. I tell you what, it's been a battle between a lot of these players between Delvin and Canton. And again, we got a foul in the low block area. That's going to be a hold against number one. That's going to be a save, yeah? So, yeah, you cannot do that in front of the official. I don't care if you're playing the case or not. Yeah. You've got to take the whistle, man up, and play another possession. So he gets another personal foul as well. That's the technical. 30-26, Kent will shoot three throws, and then we'll have the basketball. Big turn here. Got to take advantage of it here. Yep. 3.43 now, it's 30-26. Big game changer momentum wise, Leon. Cooper Smith to the free throw line here. Again, the big technical. And we've had both sides here throw players to the ground. <laughs> he used to keep him out strong. Yeah, yeah. So Cooper knocked down the first free throw. Yeah, that's Tolan Johnson's job yeah. opening his map because he disagreed with an official's, official's call. Nine points. And we're within ten on the night. Anyway, the possession of the ball. Yep. So Little Giants now. Down by two. 30-28. Again, can't possession. They'll have it at midcourt here. Again, Otto is the opposite side. He receives the pass, inbounds for Cooper Smith. Otto tries to get the serve up, does off the bounce, no good. Oh, High man. with the rebound is by Perry. Just can you get those to fall tonight? Down by two, we play the D. 3.33 of the third period. So the Giants trying to get win number one of the year. Off to this near side, spinning the lane. 
Oh, took the extra step there. Jekyll got away with it. And a dagger, three by C. That's what they do. Three twenty-eight. Again, Jay Murphy is saying, why didn't you call the travel? So how's that play before the difference maker then? Cash out of the arc, Garrett Brandt. Clipper Smith defended here by C. Top of the key, Garrett Brandt looking for a three, and he got it. Big shot there. Keep shooting, young man. Keep shooting him. It was going to be a key, a spot more. Brandt nailed a three, back to within two. You got to have that outside shot. 33-31. 2.42 left. Third period. Back out front will be Delamar with the basketball. Off the dribble. They have been squatted away by Luke Randall. Nice to Kept his feet. Good job there. Against Noah Jekyll. But again, this is what happens. Don't get in that sense of role where you're going to try to block every shot. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to play good defense. Don't let him back because he'll knock down the three for you. Van Aiken, off balance shot, threw it up there. Cooper Smith fighting for it. One arm grab by Delavan. Here comes Cooper Smith. Crossover. Otto, far side. Brant open momentarily. Between the circle, Cooper Smith. Come here, Evan. And again, Evan Otto trying to get that screen set out there. Again, use the forearm. That's a foul on Otto. Now it'll be turnover number seven. Didn't see really him really complain about it, did you? No, it was obvious. Yeah. 33 31, a 2 14. But you know how players will say, what do, you, what do you mean, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Dylan Johnson. <laughs> 2 10. Lob to this near side. Checker takes his man off the dribble. Floats <laughs> the pass out front here to Hodges. Try to back his way in. Got to do a better job defensively, not allowing them to get in that three-point shooting rhythm. They've had one tray in this quarter. 33-31, we're into 49. The kick out, they leave the shooter open, and guess what? Just what I talked about. Knock down the tree. Dribble in, kick yep. out. 36-31. They need a key, a key basket. They'll spread you out. They reverse it. Schrader threw the ball to the opposite side. Cooper Smith and then Jay Murphy. The Kent Road Jacks will take a timeout. 36-31, a minute 26 in this third period. Back to Dallas and you saw Jim after this 30-second timeout. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the family pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. A little giant timeout, minute 26 left here in his third. Anybody's game here, down by five. You got Preston Taylor, Cooper Smith. He's going to move. And also in the lineup for them is Schrader, uh, Randall, and it's Garrett Brent. That's the five of this stretch here. Try to fight through the screen. Preston Taylor cut off. Back out front. Ball knocked away. A steal by Delavan. Got away, but it's going to be a reach of the foul. It's a good foul. Yep. We had Jekyll on the breakaway there. Got fouled, and he'll shoot free throw. Minute 12. Again, they, they continue to do up and down with that half-court man-to-man. When they apply it, we get a little a little flustered. Free throw is no good. Jekyll, we, second one. We don't react well to a roll. Minute 12, third period. We Jekyll. just to start out. We haven't done it no. since. Jekyll, back down the free throw. Only two points in the game by their leading score from a year ago. Minute 10 now. Preston Taylor off the bounce, across the timeline. With a minute six. Screen off the opposite side. Cooper Smith trying to fight for position. Off the step back there, take it down the lane. Nice move. He didn't get the spin of the basketball. Man, rotation. Didn't get it. Opposite side, Perry. Cooper Smith with a steal. Here comes Preston Taylor. He's got a layup off the right side. Big basket there by Preston Taylor. I don't know about them quicks by Preston Taylor. Gotta believe it. 37-33. Big steal. Sounds like a defensive back and a pick six. <laughs> and a conversion on that turnover. 28 seconds. 
37-33. We're going to play for one. Yep. Now we're going to hold it here with 23. But the Giants claim the D down by four at the tail end of the third period here. Back out front and in the hands of Hodges. Holding with 12. Back out front with a crossover by Hodges. From the elbow, shot no good. Randall with six, still got time. Preston Taylor, the front court with three. Down the lane, into contact, no foul. Jump to the right side, no good by Schrader. And that's the way three quarters come to an end. It's Dillon in 37. Little Giants 33. We're having the final eight minutes here. Game two. And the thanks for the tournament. Back to Allison and South Jim with our coverage in one minute. Helping bring you this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb, by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Fourth quarter, the Little Giants find themselves down by four. They led 9-3, to three. they were tied 9-9, and since that point, uh, really, Devilman's held the lead. Numerous occasions. Now the Little Giants inbound will be Cooper Smith will inbound. They set the screen, KO grabs it, inbounds. Brant to the opposite side, a high post is Randall and Schrader. Smith trying to get Joggle for position, takes it off the dribble. K.O. looks over that defense, supplied by Delavan. Man to man, they pick him up. Off the dribble, K.O. tried to find some space there. Had an opening to shoot the free throw line jumper. Brant, Cooper Smith, 30 seconds gone by in this fourth. Kick it out, near side, Owens. Bounce pass, Cooper Smith, pulls the trigger, it's a three. That's the only two. Two? Only All right. two. All right. The indication there was uh, Cooper Smith with a deuce. 37-35. Big shot there, though. Goes to move with with the basket. Yeah. Carry that open look. 7-11. Delavan will try to attack. Now they'll spread you out here. This is the key for us. How do we defend? Hodges off the dribble. Turn spins in the paint. Off balance shot. Banked it in. Uh, Hodges. That was a really easy shot. Uh, 13 of the game by Charlie Hodges tonight. 39-35. They answer with a bucket with their own. Two points. Near side, Cooper Smith. And a quick hand check there. Trying to stop as Tyler Perry. I will say one thing about watching Cooper Perry. When he gets the basketball in position to go to the loop, there is no hesitation at all. Again, they called it on Justin C. With the foul. Inbounds will come for the Little Giants. Who's going to get it? Inbounds, Cooper Smith. They're off the leg. And it could be off of Randall. I'll be saying, I'll be saying the rest of them. Yeah, we're pretty, that was pretty lucky That's there. That's a gift. Well, yeah. Delaware with defense here. Cooper Smith lob it. Out front. Garrett Brent. Fit away jump and feet the line. Out of boy. I like that. Garrett Brent. Out of boy too. I like that. Five points in this half. 39-37. Back to within two. He shows he can make that shot consistently. Yeah. It opens things up in the perimeter. And again, it's going to be a quick hand check here on the baseline. Be because you let the person go by. Yep. It's a foul against uh, Randall. You've got to play defense, young man. That's his second. 627. Long, long tray in and out, no good. Uh, that was really the best shot that he could have taken. But glad he did. Brant takes the man off the dribble, head fake. Nice job. Now he's taking the guys offensively. Yeah, he is. He's in a rhythm. He's got back-to-back field goals, and we're tied 39-39. We found the other guy who can score besides Cooper. Six-minute mark here. Back to the top of the key. Behind the back door was Sheckle. Trying to set the screen to Hodges. 
Delvin, far corner, Matthews for a three, in and out. Hit the back of the iron there, drop. Let's go, Brent with a rebound. He's a teammate, there's Cooper Smith. 546, good bucket here. Get it, Brent off the dribble, and lost a handle on it. That's a tough chance there, lost a handle on it. He was gonna shoot the there and maybe pass. Turn it over, tied, 39 apiece, 532 left. And they throw the ball away, and we can't get it. Fighting for it with Matthews. Skip pass, they leave Jekyll open. He pulls the trigger, bingo. Jekyll for the tray. 42-39. Gotta have those little hustle possessions. Kale. Cooper Smith. Off the dribble top of the key here. Set a screen there by Luke Randall. Luke leads the teammate. Garrett Brant sets the feet, shoots the three. He drilled it again. Oh, he's feeling it, man. There he is. Seven in this quarter. We're tied, 42 up. Third tie this game. You can see the Cowboys bullying that young sophomore. 446. Off this near side, that's Matthews. I ain't got to catch him. Kayla will come out and pick up Hodges. Long tray on limited range. You talk about Jekyll showing the long range. 45, 42. These teams answer with threes. Advantage Delvin with 434 remaining. 45-42, Delaware a timeout, back here in 30 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, REMAX Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. This is not a team uh, that you want to get uh, down by much because they have the potential. As Bob said, you know, they, they can shoot anywhere on the floor. They can just be always literally that unlimited range. Yeah, you're going to start your defense at least yep. 25 feet away from Alaska. 427, Cooper Smith out on the arc there. Between the circle, catch him, reverses it. Trying to get the ball down low. Garrett Brandt, Cooper Smith. Puts the ball here. Off to the near side, Garrett Brandt. They had the hot hand. He's got seven in this period. Ten for the game. 45-42. Trying to tie it up with a three. Get to within one. Cooper Smith. Garrett Brandt trying to set him up. Turn spins. Cooper Smith. Off the screen to the near side. Trying to work that one-on-one -on -one situation. Tail. Dribbles. Drives in. Out of way, K.O. Nice move off the left side. Out of way. Mm -hmm. was always with a big field goal. Oh, and that's K.O. That's huge. Right there. That is. You can't be tentative. You got Down the stretch here. You got to show you can beat your opponent yeah. off the dribble and get to the rim. Matthews, the three, no good. Grabbing it is Cooper Smith. Down by one. Trying to regain the lead here. And we have not had the lead yep. for quite some time. At three ties. Last lead was at... 9-3, 9-6, something like that. K.O., near side. Cooper Smith with a three! Nailed it. And give K.O. credit, Leon, for that penetration. Yeah. To drive the double team. You got the to deep, open look. deep dribble there off the yeah. baseline. 47-45. Can't let up defensively, though. First lead since early in the game. Under the three-minute mark here. Got a nail-biter going here in the opening of the season for the Little Giants. Off the baseline, defensively, oh! Threw the shot up as Noah Jekyll. Look at Uncanny shot there. Look like he was tipped too and still went in. 47 up. Little Giants try to answer here. 2.38 left. Off the dribble, Cooper Smith. Catch him with the outlet here. Now back out top of the key. Brent, Randall. Hang on, bounce pass, that a boy. Good execution here. Garrett Brandt, meet his man off the dribble. Little head fake there. Good! Garrett Brandt, nice quarter by him. Is he ever a different player this half compared to first half? Nine in this quarter. Back up, 49-47. New going in, this is going to be a tough match. You're going to be down the wire here. Fade away jumper shot, no good. I don't think that's a shot you want to take right there. Two minute mark here, and Coach Murphy will take the time out and get some subs. We'll do that. Here at the 202 mark, Canton leads 49 47. Garrett Brand has had the hot hand nine in this quarter. 
Ken will take a full timeout back in one minute. Helping bring you this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, hy V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb, by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. 7 12 12, where the customer is our business. Second time we've run in this game since the beginning at a 9 3 lead early. Run it here 49 47 possession. Brand who's had the hot hand. Tap yeah. between the circle, Evan Otto. Runs and cross. Yep. Evan Otto looking back out front, Schrader. Caleb Owens, Cooper Smith on the near side, Otto. Out in the arc to the opposite side, trying to find his way. He dribbles in almost to steal. Double team and then a reach and a foul. It's, nope, it's going to be a hell of ball. Had him on the arm, but he called a hell of ball on the double team they drew. That's turnover number 10 for the Little Giants. So it gives Delvin the back possession here with a minute 30 left. Canton up by two. Leave the shooter open, and he got to get out there. Rebound, a weak side tip up. Who fights for it? Denovan, back out top of the key. Hodges for a three, bounces too strong. Ball deflected, Cooper Smith in a foul. On the clear out, going to be against probably Justin Speed, number five. And by all rights, they've got this game the same way throughout. He probably fouled out by now. Yep. Zay is a physical player. So Ketchum will come in. Taylor Bowens will sit. Get Cooper Smith, Otto, Brandt. Schrader and Ketchum. The bigs down the low block area. Brent, now Cooper Smith will handle. Canton up by two with a minute ten. Here we'll see the chess match. Cooper Smith dishes underneath the Ketchum and the ball sticks. Are you kidding me? What a bad break. That's considered a jump ball, so it's yep. gonna stay with us. It stays with the Canton what? <laughs> what a bad break there, Bob. The ball went up and it sticks. It's all right. And we'll have a basketball. That was a great dribble penetration there by Cooper Smith. Catch was right open, man. Minute four, Canton will inbound. Back out front. Brant has had the hot hand. Spins a pass out front. Cooper Smith here. Lead by two with 57 seconds. Otto trying to set it up to this near side here. Cooper Smith will isolate with 50. They foul us, they put us to the line. Timeout, and a Canton timeout. Coach Jay Murphy will burn a timeout with 44 seconds. It's a full timeout back in the studios. Canton 49, Delavan 47, back at Alice Ingersoll. Jim in those 60 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooniver Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, hy V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb, by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. 44 seconds, Canton gets the ball inbounds to Brandt. Lead by two. Try to protect that lead and get their first win. Double team. Far side, Caleb Owens out there. 36 seconds, and they lean on him. That's a foul against a Jekyll. And the Little Giants will be in the bonus here. 
for 34 seconds. There's where you make your move. Yeah, KO will be the line. Trying to protect the two-point lead. And KO, just remember, if I keep a rim of the basketball, when you got the lead here, you can foul a lot. So Caleb to the free throw line. Knocks down the big free throw there. This is even bigger. Second one coming up. Make it a two possession game. Here we go. Up 50-47. Try to add to that lead. Got both of them. It was Caleb Owens. Huge. 51-47, 34 seconds. Dillon will inbound. Now you got to contest the shot. Yep. You can't give him an open look. Here it comes in the front court here. Owens defending against Hodges. Don't leave him open for three. Down the lane, Drecker. And I'll tell you what, he didn't even hardly do any contact. And they called the foul. Now, if there's one thing around, he didn't blow his ground. Yeah. He moved along with the player. Right. It's all right. Against Randall, it's his third. Again, it's a 51 49 advantage here. Okay, that's what that extra free throw there makes a yep. difference. You gotta box out there for the most. Free throw, and Miranda now good. And a Schrader with the rebound. 51 49 on the free throw miss. Canton is Owens with 18. Hanging on to the near sideline here, and then a quick push. All right. Again, it's a 51 49 lead, 15 seconds. Make it a lot easier in yourself and knock down some free throws here. That's just a tough break here by you know, Randall at that point here. Again, the, the offensive player initiates that contact. It's automatically going to go against the defender. Then the free throw sinks it out of that KO. Can you be in the free throw? Yep. The two sophomores, Mullins and Brandt. Now how do we for close really? So another free throw coming up by Caleb here. Shoots, free throw, misses it. Got him with the rebound, 52-49. No threes, seconds, and a reach of a foul. Well, they call this timeout. Did they call the timeout? Didn't call timeout? Didn't call timeout. Okay. Didn't call timeout. He did call timeout. Okay. Thought there was either going to be the foul initially there, but a full timeout. Well, uh, he was getting a little lippy about the official now. Yeah. Playing the whistle. 10.5. for 52-49. Canton up by three with the minute break after this timeout. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington. Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton. High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Here we go. Inbounds, almost a steal by Owens and a quick foul with five seconds. And pretty good defense there, but a little tight. It's not a bad play, because we're going to score two points. We'll still get the ball with the lead. Hodges with the free throw attempts here coming up. Yeah, the one and bonus coming up here. 52-49 with five seconds left here. To the free throw line will be Hodges. And he got the first free throw down. He'll get the uh, bonus toss. 52-50 now. Watch out for the miss on purpose by Dallas he does. Five seconds here. Next free throw in and out. No good. Cooper Smith with a rebound with four and then reaching a foul. And hopefully hit it with 3.2. So that was a good move up by three and foul. I think pretty yeah. much on purpose to get them into line for a one-on-one. Yeah. One. There's no way they can get the lead. Absolutely. Now with 3.2 seconds here. Canton with a 52-50 lead. Got to get them both. Yep. Cooper Smith. Got us off to the quick start. And then Garrett Brandt, man. 
It was huge in the fourth quarter. Well, and KO with the free throws, too. Yep, they had a lot of good contributions. Still in a timeout. 3.2 seconds. They'll take a 30 second timeout. Canton 53, Bellman 50, back here in 30 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton, Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, High V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. After the timeout free throw, coming up for Cooper Smith. 3.2, trying to get the instructions here. Again, Cooper, and missed the free throw. 2.6 seconds, and that'll call a timeout. Three-point difference here with 2.6 seconds. Again, we'll have a quick timeout. Take a 30-second break here. Get our inbounds play coming up. The length of the floor is where, uh, again, Delaware will have it. 53-50, Canton leads back in 30 seconds. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Finish to this one coming up here after Delvin took the timeout. Anybody got timeouts left there, Bomb? He has one. Canton one? He has right. one full timeout left. With 2.6 seconds here. Delvin's used their full allotment. They'll have it the length of the floor. 53-50. Canton with the advantage. I'm sure Lucas will probably guard the inbound. Yep. The key thing is here not to let the ball get to mid-court here. And go foul on a three-point yep. attempt. Yep. Try to protect and they preserve a lead of 53-50. Canton will take a timeout here. See how they were going to be set up. They'll take a timeout still with 2.6 seconds left. Canton 53-50 over Delavan. They'll have a 30-second break back to Alice Ingersoll Gym. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams? Here. <laughs> Michael Adams. Here! Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Keep track at boostattendance.org today. Let's get this. If you can able to again. There we go. 53-50 with 2.6. Delavan inbounds. Length of the floor. He throws it up here. Ball tip and Cooper Smith saves it. They get the shot off and almost make it. Wow. Cooper Smith had it and went out of his hands. Delavan a desperation shot. <laughs> How close is that thing from banking in? And Canton wins 53 50. You take a sigh of relief and say we dodged the bullet there. The game of inches. Wow. Canton 53. Delavan 50 in opening nine here. Fans treated to an exciting finish. Canton hangs on to win, 53-50. Back to us, this one up on the post game show. It's brought to you by Big Rack Steakhouse on the North Main in Canton, your favorite steak dinner. Again, it's a Big Rack Steakhouse, 6 for 7, 6, Back here to wrap this one up in two minutes. Helping bring you this event, Spooner Animal Clinic, located on North Main Street in Canton. By the Bank of Farmington, with locations in Canton and Farmington, Sedgwick Funeral Homes, located in Canton, Bartonville, and Farmington. By WBYS, AM 1560 and 93.7 FM, the voice of Fulton County. By Canton Napa on 1st Avenue in Canton. Wesley United Methodist Church of Canton, hy V of Canton, your employee-owned store, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. 
Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Helping bring you this event, Monaco's Pizza on North Main Street in Canton, the home of the Family Pleaser, Lambs of God Daycare and Preschool in Canton, Stereo Village on South 4th Avenue in Canton, Oaks Hines Funeral Home with locations in Canton and Elmwood, Innovations Design Academy of Canton and Macomb by CD Country, your home in the country, Remax Traders Unlimited Real Estate, Susie McMillan, your agent, and M. Bixler Video Productions. Oh, Jim, as the Little Giants find a way to win, 53-50 tonight. Get a 1-0, East Peoria won, 48-38. And uh, coming up on Friday night, 6 o'clock, Delavan, East Peoria. Then at 7.30, it'll be Canton IVC. Saturday night, it's 5 at 6.30, IVC Delavan, Canton, East Peoria. All back here. Now we us at Jim after Thanksgiving Day off. It's one of the excitements uh, at the end there, Bobby. had a couple of different ways you can go about it. And again, could have fouled. They took a gamble. And uh, again, it was defended well. And he had to take a look at Delavan. Got the ball in the middle of the floor. Ball thrown up there. Cooper Smith had it. Went through his hands. And then right in the hands of the shooter. And again, it kind of glanced off the backboard there. And little chance win here, 53-50. So that was definitely uh, probably not the way we were scripted for the end of the game, but you know it's a risk reward situation. We took the risk and finished with the reward by getting our first win of the year. You know, overall it was a great for performance. I say maybe B minus C plus yeah. for things to work on. There's definitely though some skill set in place to be a pretty fun year. Coach uh, Jay Murphy making his way up here. Little Giants win at 53-50. We'll talk with the coach after this 30-second uh, timeout. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. This is brought to you by Big Rack Steakhouse, North Main in Canton. Your favorite steak dinner or your nightly specials, Big Rack Steakhouse, 647-6000. Pull out a win tonight, Canton 53-50, Coach uh, Jay Murphy. Nice job there, Murph. And finished, uh, I know, that a couple sophomores did a good job of making some clutch shots, some free throws down the end. But... Again, you do enough to win in the opening night here. Nice job. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Uh, you know, uh, we have the football guys since Sunday, and we're still getting a, accustomed to each other, but Cooper got us started, and Garrett and Carroll late. Uh, you know, I don't think Clay scored a lot, but he rebounded, mm -hmm. and he defended. And I mean, we got a lot of things we need to improve on, but... Just like I told them after the game, the guts that they showed, they, they knew they were playing bad, and they came back and finished it off. So uh, a good way to start. When you look at it, uh, how defensively tough it is, it is the way they spread you out. You know, they dribble, penetrate, and they kick, they reverse, they do a lot of those things. Defensively, man, you really have to be out there kind of closing out your shooters. We went through a stretch there. We let them kind of take control of the game there. Yeah, I mean, most teams have one or two guys that can knock down shots, and they had five guys on the floor that yeah. can knock down shots. And, you know, we've worked hard at being in help position and, and not giving up the drive, and we gave up a few late, but they drive in there and kick it out to a shooter, and you just kind of hope, you know, and... Uh, we pressed early, and the whole goal of our press is to wear people out and 
Uh, I would like to think that had a little bit to do with yeah. missing some shots late. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought so too. I thought late third quarter into the fourth there, you could tell that they were a little fatigued shooting-wise. When you look at uh, uh, Cooper Smith, uh, what does he bring to the table for you? He does so many different intangible type of things. Uh, he, he doesn't hesitate. When he wants to go to the basket, his hesitation, there's none to think about. I mean, he's going to the basket there. And that's it. And, and the thing about Cooper is he's a great passer. Uh, and, you know, I haven't had a guy since Hunter that could get into the lane and create for other people, and that's what Cooper brings to us. Plus, very long defensively. He gets his hands on a lot of balls, and, you know, once Evan gets back in shape, he's also a great defender. Uh, you know, we got some good defenders, and, and the thing is we got a lot of guys that can play, and, and you know, we're going to go with, you know, whoever's done the best in practice and whoever's given us the best. Uh, minutes during the game and I mean it's a good luxury to have. This is a really good uh, first test of the game and the Delavan's always well coached. They do a lot of things fundamentally uh, and I know I talked with uh, Coach uh, Kramer there and he said they want to emphasize more in the man-to-man -man. it gave you a little bit of problems at, 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 at scratches there didn't it? Well we didn't run any offense early you know yeah. we were coming down and making one pass and, and somebody was either putting the ball on the floor and getting stuck in the lane and you know, that's what we hoped on a half is just you got to let it develop. We want to push the ball up and down the court, but it doesn't mean that we got to make one pass and throw up a shot, even though I'd like to because I know that drives Wags nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think we got a little better at running the offense. Uh, later yeah. when we got some easy baskets off of it. One of the things, uh, not the last play, but the previous play when you ended up fouling, I, I thought that was kind of the kind of the, the decider of the game. What about the end of the game here? It, it was considered fouling, you know, you have a three yeah, that was, you know, I mean, it's the Coach McCollum uh, wanted to foul early, so he got it, and he wanted to do it late, too, but you know, <laughs> they got to go to the length of the court and make a three, yeah. and, I guess I overrode. First time since I've known him since I was five years old that I got the upper hand. So, <laughs> yeah, we did. But, you know, a foul might have been the right call, but then right. you always worry about getting the rebound. And so, I mean, the worst that can happen is we go into overtime. So, yeah, what are you thinking out there, Jay? And uh, looking in the ball, Cooper looks like he's going to intercept. The next thing you know, the uh, Delvin player has the ball shooting it. And it's <laughs> like, it's like, oh, all right, here we go, all right? Well, I wish they would have started the clock over there a little bit quicker, okay. but, yeah. you know, uh, we, we saw and we knew what they were going to do. Uh, we were in the right spot. Uh, the ball bounced our way. Uh, for once and yeah. you know wins the win and it's now we get to year. enjoy oh, yeah, I think so and, yeah. you know it's I know for the last two years we've walked the ball up and down the court and now we can get up and down the court because we got several guys that can play and several guys that can push it and yeah. we it's just got to continue to improve absolutely nice job uh, enjoy uh, you and your family uh, Thanksgiving uh, we'll see you back here Friday night and conquer and you guys too <laughs> <It was> uh, <laughs> me and you better take it easy at the table buddy <laughs> alright I'll see you guys appreciate it, it thank you much see you, all right, final here tonight, uh, Little Giants win the opener tonight, 53-50 over Delavan. And again, uh, a couple of double figures scoring tonight. Cooper Smith, 16, Garrett Brandt with 12. But again, uh, nine in that uh, fourth quarter for Little Giants. And they hang on. Uh, also the aid of uh, some free throws down the stretch, three out of four from Caleb Owens, those kind of combinations. And Canton wins 53-50. Bobby, final uh, statistics here from Alice Ingersoll tonight. Hi, Lamb for Delvin Panthers. 17 out of 42 in field goals, 40.5%. 11 for 24 in three-point shooting, 45.8%. 6 for 10 in free throw shooting, 60%. 25 total rebounds, 7 offensive, 13 total turnovers. For the Cam Little Giants, shooting 18 out of 45 in field goals, 40%. 3 for 11 in three-point shooting, 27.3%. 14 for 19 in free throws, 73.9%. 30 total rebounds, 11 offensive, 10 total turnovers. From eight points in the paint, Delvin with six and Cam with 24. Wow. Those got to those got to be the numbers though, don't they though? You know, I mean, six yes. Yeah, absolutely. And again, the uh, final here, Canton with 53, scoring 16 of the game. Cooper Smith, he got us after a quick start tonight, had seven in the opening half, and then down the stretch a big cuts, three, a uh, field goal to free throw, 16 tonight for the junior Cooper Smith, a dozen tonight from Garrett Brandt, he had a couple of uh, late uh, field goals and a three-point shot, he had nine in that really key fourth quarter with 12 for the game. Uh, Evan Otto tonight with four points.
Uh, scoring two by Preston Taylor, five from Caleb Owens, including three for four from the free throw line. Two points from Luke Randall, four from Clay Schrader, and also eight from Lucas Ketchum for the Little Giants 53. For Delavan tonight, and they had seven threes in the opening first half. They ended up at four in the second half. And again, Delavan with 50 tonight, a three-point shot from Tolan Johnson. Justin C with eight. Also scoring Tyler Perry with two, 14 from Charlie Hodges, 10 from Noah Jekyll, 6 from Brady Van Aken, and 6 from Joy Matthews, and they're 50, but the Little Giants hang on at the end there, 53-50 over Delvin there, Bobby. Yeah, it was definitely a hard fought game to, to say the least, and I'm sure, you know, when you see Cooper have his hands on that basketball, you think that you got the end of the game in hand, and you know, sure enough, crazy things happen and almost <laughs> turned out to be a May three pointer and going into overtime. I think it's a good win for the kids. It's definitely a, an early season confidence builder and they can take the day off and enjoy, you know, friends and family yep. and, and come back and hit it hard again on Friday because you know as well as I do, each game it don't get any easier. Absolutely. Thanks for Ambix for video production being on site tonight. Megan, back to studios. Bob, I wish you and your family, everybody have a, again, a, a joyous uh, Thanksgiving tomorrow, and uh, again, we'll try to eat not too much turkey and uh, have a little few naps and yeah, I gotta lay off watch my Redskins in Dallas tomorrow, so it's a good, it's a good day, man. It is. It's Happy Thanksgiving to you and everybody listening. Absolutely. And for everybody here, and for the Bob, I'm Leon. Tonight, Little Giants start out with a victory tonight, 53-50, and so long tonight from the Grand Lady.